We have new information about a gym owner in Clinton Township accused of spying on women. He's now facing a five-year felony for the crime. 7 Action News reporter Nia Harden tells us when he's expected to be in court and how his accusers plan to fight back. Matthew Krakowski walked through these doors to turn himself in to the Clinton Township Police Department. He's accused of spying on women at a CrossFit gym. He's now in custody, waiting to face a judge. This gym has been open for about five years now. So for all we know, it could have been going on for all five years. We certainly know, based on the information that I previously mentioned, that there, like I said, are tens, tens of thousands of pictures and videos. Chilling words from attorney Joshua Cecil. He says several women came to him last week wanting to file a civil claim against Switch CrossFit owner Matthew Krakowski. Prosecutors say the 34 year old installed a hidden camera at his gym on Morelli Drive in the ceiling videotaping ladies changing clothes. On April 12th, a gym member noticed and he allegedly pulled it back through a cutaway ceiling tile. Police confiscated cell phones and cameras but haven't found the hidden camera. They allowed Krakowski to turn himself in. He's being charged with capturing and distributing images of an unclothed person, a five year felony. There's more. Cecil says it wasn't just adults who were being taped. There are a decent amount of potentially minor uh, children, uh, volleyball uh, team members, I believe, from various high schools in the area that also went there. So I presume that that would be an angle that the Clinton Township Police Department would also pursue, but definitely one that we will as well. Rich Krakowski is the new face of Switch and says they take the safety of their staff and members very seriously. And any violation of that is, quote, very serious. We are cooperating with the authorities right now relative to the investigation. Um, um, right now, uh, we have had a management change. Krakowski's arraignment is set for 1 o'clock this afternoon at the courthouse in Clinton Township. We're expecting to be there. Nia Harden, 7 Action News.